In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the head of this honeybee. And for this part of the project, you'll need yarn, stuffing, and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. For the head, we'll begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up a loop, chain one to secure your yarn, and then for round one, we're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's three, four, five, six. And now we'll grab that tail and give it a pull. That closes up the circle and place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. So insert your hook, make one single crochet, go back into the same stitch for a second single crochet. And that is one increase. And now you'll continue to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round three, we'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round four, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, we'll do a repeating sequence of three single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. For round six, our repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one increase. There's two, three, four, increase. And you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round seven, our repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, increase. And now you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. For round eight, our repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then one increase. And now you'll continue to repeat six single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 48 stitches. For round nine, our repeating sequence will be seven single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one increase. 
and you'll continue to repeat seven single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 54 stitches. For round 10, our repeating sequence will be eight single crochet followed by one increase. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one increase. And you'll continue to repeat eight single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 60 stitches. For rounds 11 through 13, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round 13, you should still have 60 stitches, and it will also be a good time to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. For round 14, we will begin with 12 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going to do one decrease followed by two single crochet. So insert your hook, bring up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, grab the yarn, pull through all three loops, that's one decrease, and now we'll do two single crochet, and then we're going to repeat that one more time. So one decrease, and then two single crochet. So one and two. Now we're going to do one more decrease, Next, we're going to do 16 single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now we'll do a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by two single crochet. So here's one decrease and then two single crochet. There's one, two. Now we're gonna do that one more time. So decrease, and then two single crochet. One, two. Now we'll do one more decrease. And next we will do 12 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have a total of 54 stitches. For round 15, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 54 stitches. For round 16, we'll begin with 12 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Next, we'll do a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by one single crochet. So here's one decrease, and then one single crochet. And we're gonna repeat that one more time. So one decrease, and one single crochet. Now we'll do one more decrease. Next, we're going to do 14 single crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now we'll do one decrease followed by one single crochet. So here's one decrease and then one single crochet. Repeat that one more time. So one decrease and then one single crochet. Now we'll do one more decrease. And next we'll do 12 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have a total of 48 stitches. For round 17, we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 48 stitches. For round 18, We'll begin with 12 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Now we're going to decrease three times. So there's one, two, three. Next we'll do 12 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we'll decrease three times. There's one, two, three, and now we'll do 12 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11 and 12. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 42 stitches. For round 19, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 42 stitches. For round 20, we'll do a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by five single crochet. So there's one decrease, and then one, two, three, four, five single crochet. And now you'll continue to repeat one decrease followed by five single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For rounds 21 through 25, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round 25, you should still have a total of 36 stitches. Here I've come to the end of round 25. On this final stitch, I'm going to change colors. So I'm going to go into the stitch, bring up the loop, grab my darker color yarn, and pull that through those two loops to finish the stitch. Now I will move my stitch marker and I'm ready to begin the next round. For round 26, I'm going to hold these two tails down during these first few stitches. And we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So holding those tails down. And when you come to the end of this round, you should still have 36 stitches. And once you've done a few stitches, you can drop those tails behind your work and snip off the lighter color yarn. For round 27, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by four single crochet. So here's our one decrease, and then one, two, three, four single crochet. And now you'll continue to repeat one decrease and four single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. And it will also be a good time to weave in those tails from the color change. For round 28, we'll do a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by three single crochet. Two and three. And now you'll continue to repeat one decrease and three single crochet. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches and you will need to add your stuffing to the head and you'll continue to add more stuffing as you finish this up. For round 29, we'll do a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by two single crochet. And you'll continue to repeat one decrease and two single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round 30, we'll do a repeating sequence of one decrease, followed by one single crochet. And you'll continue to repeat one decrease and one single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For rounds 31 and 32, we're going to remove that stitch marker. And you're just going to continuously decrease all the way around. And I've already started doing that, so I've just got a couple more decreases to go here. 
You'll just continue to decrease until you reach the point where it's difficult to do a decrease. And then what you'll do is you'll take your hook, go through that stitch, go straight across the hole to the other stitch, and pull it through to do a slip stitch. And then I'm gonna go under this next stitch here and do one final slip stitch and tie off. And then we'll cut the yarn. Grab the yarn needle and thread that tail through the yarn needle. And then we're gonna weave in this end. And I always end up with this little bump here. So while I'm weaving in this end, I'm also going to be flattening that out. So I'm just gonna go under a stitch in the head and come up through one of those stitches from the decreases and pull flat. And it just takes a couple of stitches to do this. So pull nice and flat. That smooths that out. Now I'm going to take my yarn needle under another stitch. And before pulling it all the way through, I'm gonna take the yarn needle through that loop and then pull tight. And that will create the knot, which will secure your yarn. And then we're just gonna poke the needle through the head, cut off the excess yarn, and that hides the tail and now the head is all finished.